Welcome back to the Eventon video tutorial series. Uh, video number four today, we're going to be displaying specific event types, um, categories, in separate calendars, which will be on the same page. So let's jump right in. Uh, as you can see, I've got two different events. And for my event types, I've got dinners, because it's macaroni and spaghetti dinner. And for my event type two, I've got Cleveland. Um, I'll show you why I did that in a second. Um, basically, it's location-based. Um, I'm using my event type 2 as a location. Uh, you don't have to, but that's how I'm using mine, because uh, it's easy. So let's jump onto our page, and I'll show you how we can do this. I'm going to add a new page. We'll call this Same Page Calendars. All right, so let's um, add our main calendar. Remember, if we have more than one calendar on a page, we need to give an ID. So we'll call this um, Dinners 1. Uh, let's show our featured image. Nothing's featured. I'm, uh, n the event itself is not featured, so I'm going to skip past those two uh, options. Hide past events. Hide past events by end date time. We're going to uh, run past that. Event count limit. I'm not worried about it. I just want to basically show you the possibility of showing um, uh, differentiating the events on the same page. Uh, here's the important part, event type. So I want to show dinners in this calendar I'm going to place. I want to show all dinners, okay? So I want to just show dinners and that the value is 52. So I'm just going to go ahead and place it. There it is. I'm going to go to another line here and load my second calendar. And for the ID, let's call it dinners2. Now, you'll notice I, uh, everything is the same here because I'm still on the same page. I haven't published or refreshed it. So my shortcode generator now has the same values loaded for it uh, that as a previous one does. Um, I need to change the ID because this is a second calendar on the same page. Uh, we need to do that or else the plugin will break uh, or you will see some issues. It won't break completely. Uh, the only difference that we're going to do now is for this calendar, I only want to show dinners event type dinners 52 in my Cleveland location. So that value is 30. So we're going to put 30 there. And that will only show that event, which is under Cleveland. I'm going to hit my short code. And you'll notice the only difference on this is the calendar ID number or name. And the event type 2 is listed with only 30. So let's publish it. We're going to view the page. And you'll see my two different calendars. My first calendar shows all of the dinner events. So you've got spaghetti, macaroni, and then obviously spaghetti was a repeating event, so it's showing for the second time. And that is my first calendar. You can navigate. The arrows will will function everything for this calendar on its own. Um, if I wanted to, I could put these in two columns. If I use like Visual Composer, I could put two nice columns. I could separate into four columns and have four calendars. Um, I could use widgets. Um, but I didn't do that. I just want to show you basically how to put two different calendars on the same page, each showing um, specific events uh, tailored to its needs. Again, here is the second calendar. Uh, operates itself. It's not interfering with this one because we gave it a calendar ID uh, unique to itself. Um, and, uh, and again, the macaroni dinner is under the dinner type 52, and it is under the location of 30, which is Cleveland. So that's why it's the only one showing. Um, again, if I want to open that up, there we go. And there it is, guys. That is putting multiple calendars on the same page and uh, identifying them with the event type categories. Uh, next video, we'll get a little more involved and uh, do some more crazy things.